Ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Streb, 10-time member of the Veterans World Championship fencing team for the U.S. I'm here at the 2016 Arnold Fencing Classic. We're about to begin the gold medal bout in the Cadet Men's Foil event. Our fencing official has verified that the fencing equipment is legal, and he's about to begin the bout. Mr. Oram, left-handed fencer, and Mr. Mamani, a left-handed fencer. So it's an all-lefty final here. Sometimes left-handed fencers have difficulty when fencing one another. A lefty's more used to dealing with right-handed fencers. There's an attack that's parried. S series of attacks and remises, and then a counterattack. Mr. Oram was off target. Certainly Mr. Oram's not giving up any reach advantage here. Previously today, uh, Mr. Mamani had a reach advantage over most of his opponents. Oram coming forward. He's looking for a line to finish in here. Let's see if he can find something. This is foil weapon, of course. Practice weapon for deadly combat. The only valid target is defined by the LeMay. This is a silver part. There's an attack, a remise, a series of remises, and finally a counterattack by Mr. Oram off target. So the fencers need to hit with the tip, depress the 500 grams, and hit on the silver area. Mr. Oram coming, coming forward slowly. He'll be looking for a line to finish in. He's not really sure, so he stopped. He gave up the attack. We've already seen that Mr. Mamami will come forward and finish, which he tried there to the back. He missed. Here's a finish to the chest on his renewal of action, and he scores the first touch here. So far, Mamani has shown to be the more aggressive of the fencers, but Mr. Oram, being behind, is now coming forward, being a little more aggressive. There's a finish, and he lands it. Ties it up. 1-1. One, one. Let's see if that emboldens Mr. Oram, and he does some more uh, pressing and more attacks. He tried there, was parried. Here comes Mamami, circling, looking for a line to finish in. Attacking the preparation is parried. Manny pressing and makes an attack that doesn't get a light. Didn't hit and then gets hit on the counterattack. Oram, 2-1. Here comes Mr. Oram. He's got a touch to burn here if he wants to. Let's see if he goes forward and tries to just pound one in there. Looks like that's what he has in mind. He tries, but he's parried. A repost off target. Mr. Orm tried to just renew there with what's called a remise and hope for a one light, but it didn't work out for him. So, no touch. Orm pressing again. He's going to try to hammer something in here again. There it is. It's short. His opponent comes forward, but he's parried, and then a renewal off that parry, and the touch is for Mr. Mamani. Ties it up 2 2. These fencers seem pretty well matched no big physical advantage for either one of them Mr. Oram be more careful now still pressing but being more careful he's looking for that attack into preparation is what he's doing he wants to try to bait Mr. Mamami into attacking into his preparation so he can parry it Mamani not falling he's not falling for it he's just waiting he's gonna wait for the finish it looks like no there he comes forward, off target. Mamani waiting. He's waiting. He's going to try to get blade contact. That was a counterattack. A counterattack that failed and the finish arrived. So, Mr. Oram, back on top. Here he comes. He's going to press now. He wants that attack into preparation. If he doesn't get it, he'll finish. Instead, he got parried, but no repost. Mamani attacks into preparation, gets parried, and uh, our referee says there were a counter repost there. Mamani attacks, he gets parried, Orm tries to hit him, then gets parried himself, and it's all tied up 3 3. 
or I'm being cautious now. And Mamani, with an attack in the preparation, Orem comes forward, didn't really finish his attack, and Mamani took over and got just what he wanted. A one light situation. Another attack into preparation by Mamani and hits off target. No touch. Orem now, he's got a press, and there is his finish. It's off target. Mamani ducked. Allowed the touch to hit the arm. Arms behind, so he'll be looking to do something here. He'll be looking to finish. There's his long finish. Didn't work. And time has expired. Before any further action, the three minutes in the initial period expired, and our fencers now have the opportunity for a one-minute break. They may receive coaching. They may take hydration. He's backing up, letting Orem come forward, looking for a stop. He got one and attacks. Well done by Mr. Mamani. That time Orem played right into his hands. Let's see if he can get the same thing to happen again. Orem needs to finish when he gets in range here. There he did, but it's off target. Orem has him backed up against the end of the strip. If he could... Uh, get some better distance on his attack, you might be able to get him. But there's a pair of post. Now the right of way belongs to the left. Attack into preparation failed. Counter attack into preparation arrives one light. So Orm got what he wanted there. He got a touch. As most of you know, foil is a right-of-way weapon. That means the fencer who starts the attack first has the right to finish the attack. The other fencer must parry or block the attack in order to do what's called a riposte, which is the uh, action off of a parry that allows one to score. Also, if a fencer comes forward and stops his feet completely, his attack is over and the other person can take over and we've seen Mamami do that several times here waiting for Orm to stop his feet completely and then he just goes right there it is and it worked again Orm being patient but he still has to come forward here he's down by two touches he must come forward but he needs to finish when he gets down here in range and he's not he's stopping his feet and we see the same strategy there by Mr. Mamani tacking after the feet stop, taking over. There's a long attack off target. That's what Mr. Orem needs to do. He needs more distance on his finishes. If he can push Mamani back here to the strip and finish long like that, he could score. That time he tried, but he missed. And so the counterattack arrived one light. Touch for the left. Mamani with a three-touch lead, which is significant given the style that he's fencing. There's an attack into preparation. Orm comes forward, stops, kind of preps, and gets hit. One light. Four-touch lead. Mamani has no reason to change here. What he's doing is working. Orm, on the other hand, has to make an adjustment. He's going to have to find a way to push. There he did it. Push. Push Mamani back and then get that long attack to get in there as far as he needs to. That time he did it. He needs to do it again, and he's going to have to. Here he comes. Mamani's going to wait for him to stop his feet. If he does, and there is the attack from the left. Orm really didn't stop his feet. He got parried. Then he was unsure what to do. But Mamani took over, took advantage of that situation, scored another touch. Mamani falling down on the strip. Let's see if our fencing official gives a card on that. He does not. Oftentimes, if a fencer falls going backwards, there will be no card. Attack from the left. In this instance, our fencing official saw Mamani starting first. He started the attack first, so he had a right to finish it and get the point. Counterattacking into it won't do one any good. A series of actions. The final one, our fencing official sees as off target. So, in any event, 
Here comes Orem. He's got to score. That time he did. Orem did just what he needed to do there. He's got to do that now several times in a row. Push Mamani back to the end of the strip, then finish with a very long, strong attack. Here he comes. He's trying to set it up. Mamani will be trying to find the blade just like he did. A hit with a repost. Oftentimes, a fencer who's behind and who needs to come forward and press, once he gets parried, he'll sometimes stand there instead of getting back. Right There's another parry. And Orem, again, kind of stood there looking to Ramiz. That time he got away with it. But that's a dangerous thing to do. Attack fails. And uh, once it failed, it doesn't do any good to renew it because you don't have the right of way. So touch left. Here comes Mamani, backing up. Orem with a long attack at short. Mamani with a counterattack. We can expect to see several more of those. This is a 15-touch bout. Mamani has to score two more. This time he just comes forward and hammers one in there. Orem not ready, not focusing. That's typical in this situation. And there it is, the 15th touch. Mr. Mamani, the gold medalist here at the Arnold Fencing Classic 2016.